Hi, and welcome to The Cultural Explorer, the YouTube channel that takes you on a journey to explore different cultures and traditions around the world. In today's video, we will be discussing the role of body language in communication across cultures. Body language is a critical aspect of communication that conveys information, emotions, and intentions without the use of words. However, body language can vary significantly across cultures and can sometimes lead to misunderstandings in intercultural communication. Understanding and adapting to different body language styles can improve communication and build stronger relationships with people from diverse backgrounds. Body language can differ significantly across cultures. For example, in Western cultures like the United States, eye contact is often seen as a sign of respect and attentiveness, while in some Asian cultures like Japan, it may be seen as a sign of disrespect or confrontation. Similarly, in some Latin American cultures like Mexico and Brazil, physical touch such as hugging or touching is common, while in others like Saudi Arabia and other Middle Eastern countries, it may be seen as intrusive. It is essential to be aware of these cultural differences in body language and to adapt your communication style accordingly to avoid misunderstandings. Culture can significantly impact body language. Different cultural values and beliefs can influence how people express themselves non-verbally. For instance, in some Asian cultures like South Korea and China, showing emotions such as anger or frustration openly is frowned upon, while in Latin American cultures like Colombia, it is perfectly acceptable. In some African cultures like Kenya and Nigeria, physical contact is a common way to greet someone, while in Japan, bowing is the norm. Therefore, Understanding how culture impacts body language can help in cross-cultural communication. Misunderstandings can often arise due to cultural differences in body language. For example, in some cultures, nodding your head up and down means yes, while in others, like Bulgaria and Greece, it may mean no. Similarly, some cultures may smile to indicate discomfort or embarrassment, while in others, like Russia and Ukraine, it is seen as a sign of insincerity. These misunderstandings can lead to confusion, conflict, or even offense. It is essential to be aware of these cultural differences and to clarify the meaning behind nonverbal cues to avoid misunderstandings. Body language can also vary depending on the context in which it is used. For example, body language used in business meetings can differ significantly from that used in social gatherings. In some Asian cultures like China and South Korea, using direct eye contact and assertive body language may be seen as a sign of confidence and leadership in a business context, while in others, like Thailand and the Philippines, it may be perceived as aggressive or confrontational. Understanding the impact of body language in different contexts is critical to effective communication across cultures. To overcome communication barriers related to body language, it is essential to be aware of cultural differences and to approach communication with an open mind. Here are some strategies for effective intercultural communication. 1. Learn about different cultural values and beliefs that may impact body language. For example, in Latin American cultures like Mexico, physical touch is a common way to show affection and closeness, while in Japanese culture, bowing is a sign of respect. 2. Observe and ask questions to understand the meaning behind nonverbal cues. For instance, in Middle Eastern cultures like Saudi Arabia, men and women may not shake hands due to religious and cultural norms. 3. Be aware of your own nonverbal communication and how it may be perceived by others. For example, in African cultures like Nigeria, it is important to avoid pointing with your finger as it can be seen as rude or disrespectful. 4. Adapt your communication style to suit the context and cultural norms. For instance, in some Asian cultures like Japan, it is customary to remove your shoes before entering someone's home or a place of worship. 5. Clarify misunderstandings and ask for clarification when needed. For example, if you are in a business meeting in China and notice that your colleagues are not making eye contact, it may be helpful to ask if they have any questions or concerns. In conclusion, body language is an essential aspect of communication, and it can vary significantly across cultures. Understanding and adapting to different body language styles can improve communication and build stronger relationships with people from diverse backgrounds. By learning about different cultural values and beliefs that may impact body language, 
observing and asking questions to understand the meaning behind nonverbal cues, being aware of your own nonverbal communication and adapting your communication style to suit the context and cultural norms, you can overcome communication barriers and connect with people from different cultures. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to The Cultural Explorer for more videos on similar content.